Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be going over how to automate the precision mechanisms. So we're going to place down a shaft here. Uh, one block in from that shaft, we're going to do three wide vault. From here, we're going to place down our uh, brass funnels. Next, we're going to place down our other uh, shaft here. So it's going to look like this. Bring your belt across. From here, we're going to place down a chest and then another brass funnel like so. So it's all compact. That's how it looks from here. I do need hoppers, but anyways, let's uh let's get some of this powered up. So we're gonna place down a vertical gearbox. Do I got that? Yep. Vertical gearbox shaft. Then we're gonna do an encased drive facing up, then an encased drive facing sideways. It will transfer the energy over. From here, we want to do uh, deployers facing down. Make sure you do have the right side because these are only uh, turned by the shaft side right here, right? So let's place that down. Now your deployers will be working once we get the uh, power hooked up here. We'll go on the back side of our... Oh, I do have hoppers. I'm going to go on the back side here and throw those hoppers in. This is how you're going to uh, put your items in that you need. So actually we can get rid of some of this stuff. We're going to need a cog, small cog, large cog, and you're going to have to have another machine in order to actually... Uh, where are you? There we go. Nuggets. That's what I was looking for. So to actually create these products in order to make the precision uh, things. So first one is all cog wheels. You can see it already pulling them out. Second one is going to be large cog wheels. Last one, iron nuggets all the way across. So you are going to need another machine or you can just manually fill them up because you can put chests on top of here and have a big back flow anyways. Next from here, we're going to need a filter. And I'll show you what to do with that in a second. We're going to need those hoppers again. Throw down a hopper here, and that's going to deposit our gold sheets onto the line. Also, we want to make sure uh, we've got these in the right directions. So you can see right here, this one is going out. We want this one to face inward. So you can tell by these little arrows, they're also on the top. And the same thing over here, we want this one to pull items into it. Now from this, I'm just going to place down our motor like that. So basically this machine is ready to go. We're going to speed her up a bit. Probably like this is going to be a little bit fast, but it's going. Okay, we're going to get ourselves some gold sheets. Put our gold sheets in here. And this part's important. We're going to have to catch one of these, one of these uh, incomplete ones here, right? So right now they're just going in, going in. It's going to completely loop no matter what, even if we do complete a precision mechanism. So we don't want that. We're going to grab our filter. We're going to click in our incomplete com uh, incomplete precision mechanism. And we want to make sure it's ignoring data so it doesn't care what part of the process it's in it until it's complete. We're going to place that filter right there. Now, whenever, uh, whenever one of these is completed and or breaks. So sometimes these only have an 80% chance of actually creating their item. So when they break, uh, the items aren't going to start cycling through and you get all clogged up with extra gears and iron and other things like that. So anything that is uh, broken is going to get dumped in here and also your completed precision mechanisms. Now, it may seem like it's taking a long time and uh, it actually is. It does because the precision mechanism takes five passes. So one sheet of gold has to come through this machine five times before you can even get a single precision mechanism. That's kind of why I sped it up. And I guess we haven't gotten one yet. We haven't been lucky enough. Now, uh, to, if you do, I guess while we wait for one to pop up, if you do want to automate this, you could use belts or whatever. It's really easy to make these cogwheels. So... You just use a shaft and some wood, and to get the shaft, it's andesite alloy. So you're going to need a little bit of an iron farm, and it looks like we're finally to that point. I guess I was going a little too fast this time, but there we go. We've got precision mechanisms, and their good good uh, example is a cog wheel. One of them busted, so we ended up with some scrap. We can just take this, and uh, if you want some item filters, just to send it right back up in here. But anyways, that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.